Hello, I'm Paul Check. Welcome back to my video blogs. Today I'd like to talk about CrossFit trial by fire, baby. Hey, listen, uh, first I want to start off by saying this is not an attack on CrossFit. There are many other programs out there that are, you know, no different in their basic makeup. I've seen lots of people trash themselves with PX90. I've seen lots of people trash themselves with every kind of boot camp known to man. And I've seen people trash themselves with the Americanized combat ass kicker yoga. Um, so, excuse me, before I have any of you jump to conclusions, sorry, I had some kombucha and it's coming back up. Before any of you jump to conclusions about me, Crash and CrossFit, I want to share my philosophy. There's no such thing as a bad exercise or exercise system. There are only incorrectly prescribed exercises and exercise systems. Unfortunately, many people are not knowledgeable enough in some of the things that I will share to know what to prescribe for themselves. And unfortunately, the education level of most personal trainers and strength coaches is dangerously low, um, to, to be frank. I mean, a lot of them don't even understand basic anatomy and physiology. So naturally, it's going to be a bit of a free-for-all out there, and it is. Now, I would point out, though, that CrossFit and PX90, uh, in particular, did create quite a surge of injuries. I've got a number of friends that are orthopedic surgeons who have told me, wow, these two programs have made us a lot of money. And of course, as you can imagine, I have Czech practitioners, well over 10,000 of them around the world, who connect with me and email me and talk to me, and I've got instructors traveling the world who are in, in contact with countless numbers of students out there. And there's definitely a consensus that there's a lot of injury coming out of CrossFit and related programs. So uh, I was triggered to do this blog because a friend of mine forwarded me an article. It's called Deadly Condition Linked to CrossFit on the Rise, which is rhabdomyolosis. Rhabdomyolosis is a condition that happens when there is too much uh, tissue wasting or destruction of muscle in the body or there's an excessive catabolic state and the metabolic breakdown cannot be properly uh, handled by the body, puts tremendous stress on the kidneys and can put people in the hospital and all sorts of not so exciting things. So what I'd like to, to share with you all today is some basic understanding that's important so that you have a sense of how to manage yourself and monitor yourself so that you can create what you want in your life and have your exercise efforts be meaningful and help you produce your dream, whether that be to have a beautiful body or to be fit enough to accomplish a specific objective, be it climb a mountain, be a better athlete on a sports team or in an individual pursuit, be a healthier, more capable mother or father or be able to work pain-free or just pay, play pain-free. Um, so let's take a look at some of the key factors. So I've drawn a diagram for you here. Here you have Dr. Happiness, Dr. Movement, Dr. Diet, Dr. Quiet. In the middle we have what I'm calling the cauldron of consciousness. You could also call it the cauldron of life. So this is the melting pot, which your body represents. And inside that pot, we have ingredients, so just like if you're making a stew, you're going to have some water in there, you're going to have some vegetables in there, you're going to have some meat and some spices in there, and you're going to need fire to make it all happen, and there's a certain amount of each of those substances that needs to be in there, and there's a certain amount of temperature and a certain amount of duration that requires or that is required in order to make the soup turn out to be optimal. If you undercook it, then it's not ideal. If you overcook it, it's dead. If you eat all of it raw, you might get a bacterial or a parasite infection and have problems. So there's a certain amount of alchemy involved. The mixing of and management of the 
elements to get what you want. So I'm going to show you here just some real basics and I want you to think about not just CrossFit but exercise in general as we go through this. So first of all, you'll notice that Dr. Happy is connected with this beginning of a cycle, planning. First you have to be clear about what you want. So in Dr. Happy we have to know what is our dream. So if we're going to go use CrossFit, what is our dream? If your dream is to accomplish a certain level of uh, accomplishment in CrossFit competitions, then that's your dream. If your dream is to have a certain level of fitness or a certain physique, that's all fine. But in the planning phase, we always have to consider, are we ready to do what we're about to do? And I can tell you, as a guy who's traveled all over the world for 25 years professionally lecturing and been in thousands of gyms and have given thousands of lectures and seen thousands of lectures and countless exercise classes of all types, a huge percentage of people out there doing things like CrossFit and intense CrossFit style circuit training workouts in gyms and box stepping and all of it are very, very unprepared and it's amazing for me to watch instructors just stand there while they're torturing people and not even see some of the most obvious uh, issues that indicate misalignment, such as overpronation in knees, no core activation, poor posture, poor form, dot, dot, dot. I mean, a lot, a lot of the times these classes look like The Walking Dead. So in the planning phase, you have to be aware of where you're at with your preparation and then focus on getting yourself effectively ready to enter into the action stage. So if CrossFit is the action that you want to um, participate in, first you've got to make sure you have adequate flexibility to do those lifts, which for all those lifts means you have to have pretty good balanced flexibility throughout your whole body. Then you have to have adequate stability. You have to have good joint stability and good postural control or you're going to end up having problems. You're going to have joint problems, you're going to have muscle problems and muscle imbalances, which are called length tension imbalances, which leads to all sorts of inflammatory syndromes. And then the next thing you know, you've got rotator cuff tears, meniscal tears, tendon, uh, tendons pulling off of bones, muscle tears, and all sorts of unnecessary stuff. Now, in my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, which you've probably heard me talking about countless times, hopefully you've gotten wise enough to buy it because there's a reason I keep sharing it with you. It's got a lot of useful information, including questionnaires that you tally up and it shows you exactly which system in your body is under the most stress and what to do about it. The Golf Biomechanics Manual and our Tennis Biomechanics Manual, which is the sister to this by Lee Brandon and myself, takes you through an even more comprehensive assessment and the programs we use for those initial planning stages which is flexibility, stability, and then basic integrative strength, apply to any sport because they're first just getting your body right. So if you want a more comprehensive approach and you cannot afford to hire a skilled check professional, the Golf Biomechanics Manual and Tennis Biomechanics Manual will help get you ready for the action stage. So when we go into action, then we are doing the activity, then we come down here into celebration. So it could be the celebration of a post-workout, which should be followed with adequate post-workout nutrition to support regeneration and, and um, energy recovery, both the physical part and the energetic part. And then we have to go to the next cycle, which is rest, and that completes the cycle. What we have in our culture is no effective planning and a lot of action and very dysfunctional celebration, which I don't have time to go into, and, and almost no rest, as I was saying. So if we look at our meal here in our cauldron of consciousness, Dr. Happy represents the air element, which is related to the quality of thinking, and so we have to plan and be aware of what we're going to do. Fire is the action stage that relates to the function in our body of sensation. So if somebody's inflamed, they become hypersensitive. If they're not doing anything, then they become um, disconnected to their body and lose sensation. Dr. Diet relates to the earth element, which is what gives you your body. It's where our instincts are connected to, 
and it connects to our feelings and our values. Our, our values are related to our feelings because when we have a, a value, if somebody disrupts that value, for example, if it's your value that people should be respectful of each other and stay in line at the supermarket, if somebody cuts in front of you in line, it might wind you up because that's an infringement on a value that you have. So in the earth element, we have to look at our body, we have to be aware of what our body's telling us, and our values need to be supportive of our dream. Now then you have the elemental process here. Water is important because it puts things into solution in the body, and it's also the chief detoxification agent in the body. The best solution for pollution is dilution, and water is the chief solvent. It's the chief connector in the body. It's related to centering. Water always moves toward the center of the earth and intuition. Water on its own comes to rest. When we're in a state of rest, our mind is most open. It's essential for cooling and resting the body. So fire really is metabolism and movement through the body. So warmth, metabolism, and movement, and even detoxification, but that's more complex than I can get into. So what I'm showing you in a nutshell is we have to balance these elements. If you have too much air, first the fire gets hot and then you blow it out. So you need air where there's fire. If you don't have enough earth, there's nothing to burn. So the uh, fire needs wood, for example. If there's too much water, the wood's wet, you can't get it going. If there's not enough water around, you can't control the fire. So you've got a body full of inflammation and it just runs wild. So we really need to be conscious of a simple analogy that we are each like a cauldron. And if you keep making the same mistakes over and over again because you're just doing a lousy job cooking up life, well then you're gonna keep getting hurt over and over again. You're not gonna accomplish your dreams. You're gonna get injured. You're probably gonna end up being frustrated with the shape of your body. And if you keep going back to the same classes and making the same mistakes and eating the same imbalanced diet and not resting enough and not hydrating effectively, well then, yes, you know, we can blame CrossFit all we want, but CrossFit's really nothing but a collection of people doing the same thing. Uh, Arnold Mandel says a culture is a bunch of people doing the same thing, and we now have an ass-kicker culture out there, and many of these people, in my observation, are kind of going through... Um, puberty and need some kind of a trial by fire to prove to themselves that they're a man or a woman because that's missing in our culture today. The secret is to make it through the trial by fire and come out more intelligent, not just walk around with all your scars and tell everybody uh, how foolish you are while thinking that you're doing something or saying something impressive. So at the end of the day then, get clear on what your dream is Use my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, or the Golf Biomechanics, or tennis, the Biomechanics Manual to identify where you're out of balance. Make effective choices to follow that flexibility, stability, integrated strength, and then power developmental sequence so that you don't torture yourself before you accomplish your objective. Establish healthy values for your four doctors that are dream affirmative. Get clear on who you are and why you're doing what you're doing. And then my little ebook, The Last Four Doctors You'll Ever Need, How to Get Healthy Now, takes you step by step through how to put this all together. Now, for those of you that would like to come spend a day with me and get deeper into yourselves, I'm offering May 19th, 2017, right here at my Heaven House property in beautiful Southern California, Escondido, up in the beautiful mountains right next to a lake. We're going to have a day where I'm going to take you through five archetypal forms. I'm going to show you how we can use those form, forms to identify where we're at in our own life process, what we're needing more awareness of, and what our work is. And then we're going to use those forms to create art using rocks and nature. We're going to look at our instincts. We're going to look at um, sharing great food together. And we're going to have a good time up here for a day. So far, people that have come and taken this program with me have had a phenomenal time. It's a beautiful one-day program. So if you go to the link that will be in the information box below the video, you can see more about signing up. The class is limited to 20. It'll probably fill up fairly quick, but I'd love to see those of you there that make it. 
we always have the most amazing, incredible, beautiful people show up. So if you want to come spend a day with me and, and see how someone who's been around for a while does all these things and keeps himself going and uh, what's behind the teacher, then now's your chance. Thanks for joining me today. Enjoy CrossFit, enjoy all of it. Just try to be intelligent about it and love and respect yourself. And that way the cauldron produces consciousness, not unconsciousness. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Paul Check.